Hey guys, it's Brandon with Investment Joy doing another quarter collection this week. Yet again, it is a bright, sunshiny day here in central Ohio. Not a cloud in the sky, and the weather is nice and warm. So, I would do. I would really appreciate it if you guys would like my channel or like the video since it helps send the content out to people who've never seen it before. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Um, I just restocked the machine today. It was totally out. Um, this week, we're finally getting my, my nephew in here to regularly restock. I, I have no time for that anymore. But uh, I restocked it today. Went down to Sam's Club. Um, but I'd love it if you would subscribe to the channel. If you've ever wondered what it would be like to see content not shot by myself on a cell phone, um, a, I did a collaboration with a, another YouTuber. He came to town and we shot like six or seven videos. Oh, wow. Dang. There's a bunch of uh, dollar coins in there. But we shot quite a few content. Quite a few. Oh, I'll have to keep, dig this out now. Um, we shot quite a bit of content. Um, and he had a professional videographer come to town with him. And uh, that would be cool. So if you would like, obviously I can't talk and hold coins at the same time. That is not a good life skill. Uh, we'll throw these in. Probably should have done it differently. I'll throw them in here. Hopefully it doesn't spike. So not only did my gimbal go down, so I've got one hand to do my quarter collection. Graham Stephan called. He is very, very, he is the nicest guy on the face of this planet. He, what he called me about has nothing to do with the laundromat and he is concerned about his users. <laughs> so. That sounded pretty good. The, uh, the strategy is to quit while you're ahead. Yeah, I got a 
And also, the orders are clicked off the edge. Oh, wow. Because every time that I get done with it and I tell her that it's not going to pay out anymore, she's like, no, it'll still pay out. Yeah. And then she'll play it, and then she'll lose all of her money, and I'll be like, didn't I just tell you that that was one I believe me, I've had that conversation. I said, you know that is a game, what I would consider a game of skill, meaning it is winnable. And I've had that conversation. Of, I, I've encouraged people. I've said, you need to quit now. Oh, well, I think I, yeah, okay. Granted, I'm not a whole lot better than some of them. If you put a whole bunch of quarters in and push it forward, you don't get as big of a payout as yeah, there's there's a bunch of different strategies with the machine, and I've I've heard good cases being made for all of them, but I think that the biggest the biggest thing um, from my perspective is waiting till it's ready to pay out, because when the guy comes in and refills it full of quarters and stuff, it's not ready. To pay it's not ready to pay out. I mean, people get excited. Um, that's when I make money off the machine. Because if you notice, there's two holes there on the side. That's, that's my take from it. Um, the hole in the middle is the jackpot. Um, and if you look at how they're setting, once that guy comes in and fills it up, um, it's not ready to pay out. You've usually got to put an extra $10 in there. Once you have a 10 or 15, then it's ready to pay out. Okay, so we're to this point where I get open the change machine and see how much money's in here. It's the money waterfall. I still have not got the bill stacker because I'm still having too much fun, guys. And I really wish you would have heard the conversation that I had with the people. Um, they were over there playing my quarter pusher machine. It's not, it's not technically mine, but that's the game machine. We did a quarter collection on it recently and totally told the people when they're playing that they should invest their money rather than playing on the quarter pusher. So I wanna get a QR code here. I'm trying to get this while I'm talking on the phone. Um, I'm totally getting a QR code and putting it on the uh, bulletin board for everybody that comes into the laundromat that they can potentially escape poverty by investing money wisely rather than investing money in the lottery or cigarettes or whatever. So there, I'm gonna put a code over here um, and I'll put it in the link description, like always, with uh, like Robin Hood and Weeble. I really like Weeble because you can get two, you can get five free stocks with them at this point. But you can sign up and get free stocks with them. You can sign up and get free stocks with uh, Robin Hood too. I normally don't talk about Robin Hood, but why not um, in this video? But uh, they were telling me about a lot of their financial struggles and issues. And like I've said in a lot of my videos, not my quarter collection ones, but slow and steady wins the race. And in my other video, I asked you guys, I want you to think about it, uh, what would your life be like if you had extra money and you could help the people that you care about, whether it be in your own family or uh, community or whatever. What if you had all this money here sitting in my bucket to your name? We won't go over and count the money. Let's see what we do. Okay, guys. So here is our stack of cash. This is washer and dryer ones. This is vending machine money. This is fives. I got a nice stack of fives. Um, we'll reset this because this isn't super accurate. Um, here's the washer dryer quarters and then the snack machine quarters. Here is a ratty t-shirt that I've used to kind of collect the quarters. Um, it's actually working really, really well. Um, so I will get this started here in a second. We'll put uh, the first round of quarters back in this, this one right here. Hopefully I won't forget to uh, go put it back in the machine when we are done. All right, this is the number from our last collection. Here we go. Okay, $127, that would be what? I know I'm doing my hillbilly math and my shoes are on a little over $25, uh, which sounds about right um, in the sense that I figured it would probably be low um, because of the uh, fact we were out of pop and I just went and bought $200 worth of drinks down at Sam's. Okay. This will probably break the machine, but... Uh, you live only once, right, guys?
So we'll start. Yep, it's jam. Okay. I probably could have fixed that by sticking my fingers in and being less safe. Now don't stick your hands in here. I'm a, pra a trained YouTube professional. Okay. Mr. Editor is going to get it on the screen, screen 1,296 quarters, less the, I think it was 127, oh shoot, the 127 that was from before, got a nice little thing of quarters and nickels, those will go in there, maybe we should give those away or something, that could be fun, I don't know, maybe I'll donate them to charity, what do you guys think, giveaway or charity? Uh, okay, so we'll do the washer dryer money first. We're going to hit clear, value, add. These uh, these are uh, this machine's on the description in the description. It's a really cool machine, and it's fun. And like I've said before, we're going to save all these ones, and we're going to do a star note count live on something. So thirty-one dollars, so a little over fifty in just drinks. I spent five hundred dollars a day on getting drinks from Sam's Club. Okay, 26. Oh, shoot. So we'll have to add that. What, 31 to do in? Oh, come on. Redoing this again. See, my tripod over here wasn't, or my stabilizer wasn't having problems. So we've got another 31 on top of that. But if my, tri my tripod wasn't having problems, this would be a lot easier to do with one hand. But, uh, you know... Oh well, I'll blame it on my kids this time. They have a good habit of turning things on. And since they're not here to defend themselves, that must be the case. Alright, $113 plus, or $117 plus the $31, so that's $148 um, in $1 bills. We're going to increase this to fives, and we've really got probably the nicest stack of fives that I have here. I don't know. I don't like $1 bills. I love fives, and I really like uh, twos. I don't know. If you guys are wow. Dang, that is the most, uh, that's the most fives we've ever had. We're at uh, $307. We'll increase value. Hopefully it doesn't jam. Nice. 347 so I'm the coin pusher um, will take the totals I don't have the math in front of me but uh, the editor will add them and my estimate is the difference is all in the coin pusher because while I was here shooting video we had like people drop $20 on it um, so once again this is Brandon with investment joy thank you guys for watching I truly appreciate every single one of you yay